What's going on everybody? I'm Johnny Brook. Welcome back to another Crafted Workshop video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this modern bench from reclaimed pallet wood. Stay tuned. The first step in any pallet project is also probably the least enjoyable step, and that's disassembling your pallets. There are a few ways to do this, but there are really three main options. First is to pry the slats off with some kind of tool. There are lots of choices in this area, but I'll put a link to the tool I'm using in the build article. Uh, your second choice is to cut the centers of the slats with the circular saw. You lose a lot of length doing this, but it also saves you from having to remove any nails later on. And your third option is to cut the slats from the supports with a reciprocating saw cutting through the nails. All three options have their pros and cons, but I used options number one and two for this build. Once you've got the pallets disassembled, you need to remove any metal from the wood. This could include nails, staples, screws, etc. You want to make sure and remove everything metal, especially if you're planning on milling your pallet wood with a planer, jointer, or table saw. Any leftover nails will nick the blades on these tools and replacing them is expensive. Once all the metal is removed from your slats, it's time to mill the wood. I used a jointer, planer, and table saw for this process. First, flatten one face on the jointer. Next, using the face you just flattened as the reference face, facing down on your planer, bring your pieces down to their final thickness. After thicknessing, square up one edge of the slats at the jointer, and then cut your slats to their final width at the table saw. I cut my slats into inch and a half inch strips as this left me with a relatively small amount of waste, but this width will depend on the size of the slats you're using. Finally, at the miter saw, square up each end of your strips, removing any cracks or jagged edges. After your strips are all milled, you can start to lay out your design. The final dimensions I wanted for my bench top were roughly 43 inches by 13 inches, so I laid out the strips with at least a few inches on each side to leave room for final cleanup after gluing. For the glue up, I cut a piece of scrap MDF to the size of my final bench top and used it as a flat reference surface. I applied glue to each strip and brad nailed them to the piece behind it. I could have potentially just tried to apply glue and clamps, but I had over 75 strips in this bench top and the chances of the pieces slipping around was really likely. Using brad nails helped keep this to a minimum. Just keep gluing and nailing the strips on until you reach your final width and then apply clamping pressure. After the glue dries, trim the ends of the bench to their rough length at the miter saw and then flatten one side of the bench top at the planer. To accomplish this, I attach the bench top to the same piece of MDF from the glue up using countersunk screws from below. This gave me a flat reference surface for the planer and served as a planer sled. This bench top was too wide to pass over my jointer, otherwise I would have used it for this step. Once one side is flattened, square up one of the edges at the jointer and then flatten the other side at the planer. Finally, square up the other long edge of the table saw and the bench top will be at its final dimension. Next, sand the bench top, working your way through the grits, starting at 80 grit, moving to 120 grit, and then finish with 180 grit. After sanding, you can chamfer the edges with a block plane and give them a light sanding. For the finish on this bench top, I used spar urethane. It will be used on a outdoor porch. Spar urethane has additives that help protect the wood from UV damage and is also slightly flexible to account for seasonal wood expansion and contraction. I applied three total coats using a foam brush and lightly sanded with 320 grit sandpaper between coats. And the final finish is a smooth satin finish exactly what I was after. For the legs, mill up some more pallet wood, this time using the 2x4 supports. You'll need four pieces per leg, two pieces at 15 inches long for the uprights, and two pieces at 7.5 inches long for the center connectors. To assemble the legs, I decided to use pocket screws and with the material thickness of an inch and a half, I used two and a half inch pocket screws and they're rated for exterior use. I assembled each leg with glue and screws and let them dry. I also added a center support piece. This was to help reduce any sagging in the bench top and also help to provide some lateral stability. The length of this piece will depend on the length of your bench, but in my case, it was roughly 26 inches long. Once the base was assembled, I painted it black using an outdoor rated spray paint and then let both the base and top cure for a few days just to keep them from sticking to each other once assembled. 
Once both finishes are sufficiently cured, attach the base to the top from below using two inch exterior screws, pre-drilling and countersinking the holes before attaching. Finally, add four small rubber feet to each leg, and this just helps to keep the legs off the ground to help prevent any water damage. After attaching the feet, the bench is done. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this build. This was a really time consuming project. Uh, anytime you use pallet wood, it just adds so much time because you have to disassemble the pallets and then mill all of the wood to size. I personally probably will not be doing any more pallet projects in the future. I have one final pallet project, which I'll show at the very end of this video. This turned out really nice. I'm very happy with the way it looks. Uh, it has a really clean, modern look and using reclaimed wood a lot of times it's kind of tricky to pull off that look so uh, very happy with it uh, this is going to be for my mom it's going to go outside on her porch and i think it should last really nicely if you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you liked in the comments also if you don't already please go ahead and subscribe i have new project videos every tuesday and new weekly maker roundups every thursday and last if you want to support us further and see some behind the scenes goodies check us out on patreon it's patreon.com craftedworkshop all right guys thanks again for watching and until next time happy building